What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. It is Wednesday, it means a brand new Vegas tutorial for you guys. And I am actually working on quite a lot of videos, so I don't really have the time today to create like a really, really advanced video until I came to the point like, yo, there's this one video about like text animations, all that, that I want you guys to see. This, I think this one is from last year. Many of you haven't seen it yet. And it is just basically a video like how to, you know, like make awesome text, you know, animations, how to appear, make it appear on music, how to, you know, like make it appear on the screen in like really, really cool ways. First, I want you guys to see this video. And second of all, I'm actually working ahead of schedule right now. So like right now, today is Wednesday, but I'm already working on videos that are coming out next Monday when Deep Web comes out. You know, the how to on Tuesday is something I just finished editing the, the Vegas tutorials from Wednesday next week. And also a new series that's starting on Thursday. I'm not going to spoil too much, but I just wanted to show you guys this and tell you guys what's going on. So make sure to enjoy this video. Hang tight, guys, because I'm just preparing like videos for next week as well, because that just takes a lot of work, let's be honest. So make sure to enjoy this video and let's get this video rolling. See right now we are in Vegas Pro. So what we're gonna do first of all is I'm gonna drag in a song because we're gonna make words appear on the actual uh, song. We're not gonna just make a lyric video, for, but, but we're gonna just make words appear on the beat. So I'm gonna just drag in a song. All right, so we're gonna put on some headphones because there's audio and this is basically the song that we're gonna use. Cool, so let's go ahead and click on media generators and we're gonna scroll down until we see titles and text, that's obvious. All right, so this is basically the text layer that we're gonna use. So we're gonna stretch it out just a little bit. So first, what we're gonna do is type in everything that we're gonna need. So I'm just going to uh, type in how to uh, create unique text animations. So first, um, I'm going to also add in Vegas Pro 16. <clears throat> All right, apparently I keep hearing noises. I thought it was my girlfriend, but it's actually people in this building uh, using the elevator. So never mind. Let's let's move on. Okay, so first what we're going to do is uh, make it a little bit smaller. Uh, so I'm going to type in 10. I'm going to resize it just a little bit like that. Pick a different font because this one lo it looks a little bit boring. That standard one. I'm just going to just look for a nice font. I think this one looks very, very cool. Uh, but the 16 is not really in the same font. So I'm going to just uh, keep on looking. All right, this one lo looks very nice. So first what we need to do is close it out and what we're going to do then is we're going to mask stuff. So I'm going to click on the event pan crop icon. That's crucial. Then we're going to select a mask at the bottom. And then first we're going to pick this rectangle or square mask creation tool. And I'm going to pick the first word like that. So first I'm going to, we're going to also do that on the beat. So I'm going to play it back. So this is what it looks like. Without you. And when we hear that second I'm going to just make the second word appear. So what we're going to do is also uh, check sync cursor at the bottom. Right here, we have the second one. That. So I'm going to just uh, make this guy stretch to the right. So then we're going to move on to the second one. We have do, do, t. So I'm going to also do that. How to create. So this is what it looks like. Without you. Without you. But what we need to do is when we actually um, create this transition, I mean, like this animation, uh, it's just going to slowly fade and not like appear like that. So what we need to do in front of every keyframe, because if I'm, I'm just going to delete this one. So this is basically what it looks like. It's just going to go, go like that. Without you. We want to actually make it appear. So in front of every keyframe, we need to create one uh, first on the previous position. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how that works, but we're going to first finish off all the text. All right, then what we're going to do is move on mask all around the other one like that. All right, then we're going to just select uh, the word text right here as well.
All right, but in order to not make it appear like that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a keyframe right before each new one like that. So what we're going to do is right here, it says how to, then we're going to click on that keyframe, press, we're going to go back on our, key, on our keyboard with the arrow keys, one frame, and then we're going to click on this one, create keyframe. Then we're going to move on to the second keyframe, go one arrow back, and then we're going to also hit create keyframe. Then we're going to also do that for the next one. Click on it, then go one arrow key back, create keyframe, and we're going to repeat that for all the other ones. So this is basically what it looks like. I remember myself, my name. Forgot about all you tried to change. I remember myself, my name. Forgot about all you tried to change. So that's basically how amazing it is. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. I'll see you guys on a brand new video on Friday, obviously. And I apologize that this one is not like a, like an updated, like really advanced video. Because like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm just working on tons of stuff. So guys, that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one.